now the first step is to restart the computer do not ignore this step restart the computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working modify installation to modify installation make a right click on the game over here and then select manage and then go to add-ons over here you can make sure call of duty base game is checked and rest uh, you can uncheck the add-ons which is not black ops 7 so here you can see bo6 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 i have unchecked everything only the bo7 is checked over here the rest is unchecked here also you can see bo7 so make sure that you put a check on black ops 7 and rest add-ons which is not black ops 7 you can uncheck everything just keep black ops 7 checked and then apply changes hit apply changes and then once update is complete now launch the game still not working the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game so click on manage and then go to files click on browse and then open the call of duty folder content folder and open cod 25 so uh, you can go back and find COD here you can see uh, COD uh, you can make a right click and then you can try to run as administrator click on yes to allow and check if you are able to launch the game or not if it is not launching in that case you can try game launch helper here you can see game launch helper you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and this should launch the game and then you can check if i'm closing the game still not working the next step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this you can go to uh, xbox app and then top left click on your profile icon click on support and then click on gaming services repair tool click on start repairing click on yes to allow now this process will take some time and once it is complete uh, you can close this and then you can relaunch the game and then check relaunch xbox app also and then you can check still not working the next step is to let uh, shaders preloading be 100 percent complete so when you launch the game here you can see preloading unfinished so let it be 100 percent complete and at the top if you see here you can see shaders preloading make sure this is 100 percent complete and then check if you are able to go to that screen if you are not going to that screen you can just skip this step next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd now select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver whichever is the latest you can click on view and then you can click on download and then run this exe file when you run this exe file click on yes to uh, click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to and run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add microsoft store app and then you will find the game in the list so look for the game here you can see the game you can select the game over here and then scroll down click on it and over here you can select high performance over here and then you can check still not working the next step is to roll back graphics driver now for this you can go to nvidia website once again so if the latest graphic card driver is not working when you select the graphic card and operating system click on view view more version maybe you can try 581.29 or maybe 581.15 but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation make sure that you restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to try launching the game from nvidia apps so if you have nvidia app running on your computer or you can launch nvidia app if you have it you can go to graphics select bo7 select the game and then over here uh, 
first of all go to home and if you see the game somehow i have bo7 but it's showing bo6 i don't know why try to launch the game uh, from nvidia app and then check if that does not work you can go to settings and over here if you see optimize option hit optimize and then check if it is already optimized you will see the revert option you can revert and then you can close nvidia app and then you can check next step is to verify and repair the game now for this you can go to xbox app again click on the pro, uh, game and then go to manage and then go to files and then click on verify and repair click on yes and let the repair complete this will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute once the repair is done uh, you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to repair or reset the game now for this you can go to xbox app and then uh, open windows settings first and then go to apps and then go to install apps and find the game in the list Now, once you find the game, click on the three dots. Okay, this is the from battle.net. Yeah, click on the uh, make a click on these three dots in front of the game and then go to advanced option. Scroll down, you will see the repair option. First of all, click on terminate. Click on terminate and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, you can check if that does not work. Click on reset, reset. Once the reset is done, uh, you can you have to relaunch Xbox app. So close Xbox app once. And then open Xbox app once again. And then you can launch the game and then check. So now you can try to launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C file. For this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website you can here you can see visual studio 2015 to 22 download this x86 and x64 you have to install both the file now click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed restart you can be restart your master after this after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound. Click on power options. Now over here, I have only balanced. If you see power saver like this, you can select power saver, launch the game. You can even try balanced or high performance. But first of all, try power saver and then launch the game. Next step is to Disable or enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box. Click on graphics settings. Click on advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check. Now if it is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of extra sometimes we have extra controller connected dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close all the third party application close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay if you have, do not overclock if you have if you have overclocked set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert in close it close up close any kind of online storage application like onedrive google drive running close it perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game if you have under voltage computer remove the under volt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive 
where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on OK, OK, you will see restart option, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again, settings, advanced, change and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. After the BIOS update, log in and then launch the game. Next step is to install all updates in Microsoft Store. So go to Store, go to Download option over here and then click on Check for Update. And then you will see Update All. So update everything over here. Once updated, now launch the game still not working the next step is to update windows now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to update windows to the uh, sorry run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on Run as Administrator. And make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator only and then paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. Once you hit the Enter key, it will uh, let the process complete. This will take some time. And during this process, you will see some errors in red color like this. If you see any er errors, just ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is done, it everything will be red. Then you can close it and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to open NVIDIA control panel. Make a right click on the desktop. Go to show more op option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings. Go to global settings and then click on restore. Click on yes. And then at the bottom right, hit apply. And once this is done, launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Xbox identity provider. So open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see the download option. Click on download and then click on open Microsoft store. And then if not installed, you will see install option or update option or get option. So install it. In my case, it is already installed. If that does not work, uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now to uninstall gaming services, you can copy the first command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open PowerShell as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. The command is provided in the video description. Once you run it, it will uninstall gaming services. Now copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. This will open store. You will see install button. Click on install, click on yes to allow and let the gaming services be installed. Make sure this is installed. Once the installation is 100% complete, then you have to relaunch Xbox app or Microsoft store and then try to relaunch the game. Make sure this is done. Only then open Xbox app and store and then launch the game. Next step is to try window mode and lower down video settings. If you are able to launch the game, you go to graphic settings, try window mode, lower down video settings and then check. 
the last next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number which we have already done i think yeah so you can skip this step the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so you can go to xbox app and then at the top left you will see your profile icon you have to go to profile icon and then you have to go to settings and then go to install options if the game is installed to c drive try to install the game to different drive select different drive over here if you have available and then check if the game is already installed to different drive try to install the game to c drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel